Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good here. Since yesterday, my depression has waned quite a bit. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Um, I seem to be doing pretty good. Anyway, there's a comedian named Hannah Gadsby who put out an article on GQ entitled Hannah Gadsby on Why Men Should Be More Ladylike. Yeah, you can probably guess just from the title what it's going to be about. Um, now, I'm not saying that there aren't things that generally men can't improve upon. I mean, uh, we could all be a little more cooperative. Um, people in general, and this isn't a man thing, this is just a, a, just a human decency thing. You know, you, you don't, don't take someone else's idea... You know, if if they came up with the idea, you give them credit for the idea. To me, that's basic decency. Um, you know, don't talk over someone. If someone is expressing their views, you know, wait at least wait until they're done, and then don't mansplain, so to speak. Don't don't sit there and say, "Oh, well, what she really meant was this." You know. Let someone state their own views. If, and if you feel that they weren't clear enough, you could say, hey, could you clarify that a little bit more? You know, there's, there's some basic things, right? Fine. But this article goes far beyond that, and uh, I'm going to read some excerpts from it now. Women are always being encouraged to stir their masculine traits into their feminine recipe. Well, yes, because... A lot of the masculine traits are what allows someone to be successful, you know? Anyway, we are told to be bolder, speak up in meetings, exaggerate your skills, all that lean-in sort of crap. Crap, huh? So perhaps it's time for you, the men, to be more ladylike. How about you scale back on your confidence? We should scale back on our confidence? Let's pump up the confidence in women and, and scale back it with men, right? No, that's, that's, a, that's messed up advice. Lift people up. Don't tear people down. To me, that's the way that we should go about things, but not according to Hannah Gadsby. How about you try not to act in every situation? Why? If it seems appropriate to act in a situation, then you do it. You know, you, there has to be a, a balance between whether something is appropriate or not. Okay, fine. But, how, okay, uh, what if you tried to refrain from sharing your opinions? We tell women they should share their opinions, so we should pump up women and then tear down men, right? Men shouldn't share their opinions. But then she puts an or in there, so she says... What if you tried to refrain from sharing your opinions or co-opting other people's ideas? Well, those things aren't the same thing. Okay, co-opting other people's ideas, yeah, that's messed up. Give someone credit for the ideas that they, they came up with, you know? How about yielding to people walking in the opposite direction, or even just attempting to see them? Is this some sort of significant problem? I haven't heard about it, and it certainly doesn't seem to be something that I associate with masculinity, um, what's the deal? She goes on, she says, how about you try pretending you're the least powerful person in any room, and that no matter how hard you work, you'll never be the most powerful? Why just, are you, are you trying to, to make a commentary on how women often feel? Um, you know, if that's how you feel, try to do something about it. Don't, I don't know. Walk around like that for a couple weeks and then call your mother. I guess she's trying to be funny there, right? As I said, she's a comedian. I don't think she's funny. I watched her, uh, I was trying to watch her special on Netflix called Nanette. 
and I got through about 10 minutes of it and then started just forwarding through, okay, is there ever going to be something funny that she says, or is it all political commentary that she says a few words, you know, with exaggeration, the door, or whatever, right, you know? And she because she, she pauses and then says the word a certain way, oh, that's so funny. I don't know. Um... I I usually don't find woke comedians to be funny. You know, when when they when they they're constantly trying to prove how woke they are, there there's just rarely anything funny they have to say. You know, if if that's supposed to be the future of comedy in order to not be degrading to people except for the 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 powerful and majority demographic um yeah, I mean, the future of comedy is dead if that's the case. Fortunately, not everyone is in that kind of mindset. But, uh, man, I just did not find that special on Netflix to be funny at all. And maybe I need to give it more time. Maybe I, I should really just sit down and watch the whole thing and, and drudge through it. I don't know. But uh, I don't find these notions to be helpful in stating that men should have less confidence and should be more docile and controllable. And that's, I, I just don't think that's a good message. Okay? The message should be to lift people up, not tear people down. I believe strongly in that. I guess I don't know what more to say. <laughs>